Good day kids! Here we are again with another episode of our Math 6 Learnings. Today, we will discuss about adding fractions. I am your teacher, James Christian Urbayo, and I hope you would listen attentively with a discussion I have prepared for you. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning. For today's topic, we are going to discuss about adding simple fractions with or without regrouping. Now, what is fraction? Fraction came from the Latin word fractus, which means broken. It represents a part of a whole or any number of equal parts. In this lesson, you will learn how to add fractions. Now, how can fractions be added? It can be added by a fraction to another fraction, by a fraction to a whole number, a fraction to a mixed number, and a mixed number to another mixed number. Let us take note that mixed number is expressed as the sum of a whole number and a fraction. Now, let us discuss the parts of a fraction. The line that separates the numerator and a denominator in a fraction is called the fraction bar. The number above the fraction bar is the numerator. And the number below the fraction bar is the denominator. Thus, let us remember that the simplest form of a fraction is simply a numerator divided by a denominator. Now, let us move on in simplifying and reducing fractions. Reducing fractions means simplifying a fraction, wherein we divide the numerator and denominator by a common divisor until the common factor becomes 1. In another words, a fraction cannot be divided anymore by the same whole number other than 1. For example, let us consider the fraction 4 over 8. Reducing it in the simplest form is 2 over 4 and 1 half. We are now moving on with the similar fractions and the similar fractions. Similar or like fractions are fractions with the same denominators. On the other hand, the similar or unlike fractions are fractions with different denominators. Now, let us consider the similar fractions 1 and over 4 and 3 over 4. Notice that they have the same denominator of 4. Now, let us also consider these dissimilar fractions 3 over 5 and 5 over 6. Notice that they do not have the same denominator of 5 and 6 respectively. In adding similar fractions, if the fractions to be added have the same denominator, simply add the numerators and copy the common denominator. If possible, reduce your answer to the lowest term. Let us consider the sample problem on our screen. 3 over 7 plus 2 over 7. Adding it, we must copy the common denominator of 7 and let us add the numerators of 3 plus 2. So, now we have 5 over 7. Now, 
let us move on in reducing our fractions into its lowest term. Let us consider the sample problem on our screen, which is 6 over 10 plus 2 over 10 is equal to 8 over 10. Now, reducing it to its lowest term, we must check our answer to see if another number can be divided evenly into both the numerator and denominator. If that is the case, we can reduce it again. Continue the process until the fraction can no longer be reduced. Thus, the fraction now then is in its lowest term. So, in our case, 8 over 10, the number can be divided evenly is 2. So, summing up and simplifying our answer, we now have 4 over 5. Now, let's have a recap in the steps in adding similar fractions. First, add the numerators. Second, copy the common denominator. Third, if possible, reduce your answer to the lowest term. Now, moving on in adding the similar fractions. In adding the similar fractions, first, we must find the least common denominator or LCD. Second, change the fractions to similar fractions using the LCD. Third, add the numerators and write the results over the LCD. Fourth, if necessary, reduce the answer to its lowest term. And fifth, when the sum is an improper fraction, change it to a mixed number. Now, let us move on with equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are two or more fractions that are all equal. A fraction is a part of a whole. The denominator represents how many equal parts the whole is split into, and the numerator represents the amount of these parts. Moving on, we shall now have our example in adding the similar fractions. Let us consider the example on our screen, 1 third plus 3 over 6. Let us take note that the first step in adding the similar fraction is getting the LCD or the least common denominator. Now, what is LCD? LCD is the smallest value that can be a common denominator of a set of fraction. So in our problem, the LCD of two denominators of 3 and 6 is 6. Now that we have now our known least common denominator of 6, we can now proceed with our addition. So, 1 third plus 3 over 6 is equal to, now let us put on our LCD of 6, then our LCD of 6 divided by the first term's denominator of 3, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then 2, let us multiply it to the first term's numerator of 1, so it is equal to 2. So again, 6 divided by the second term's denominator of 6 is equal to 1. So this 1, let us multiply it by the numerator of the second term of 3, it is equal to 3. So expanding our addition, 2 plus 3 over the LCD of 6 is equal to 5 over 6. Now, let's have a recap. Adding the similar fractions are almost the same with adding similar fractions. The only difference is that, at first, you need to change the dissimilar fractions 
to a similar fractions using equivalent fractions. Moving on, we shall now differentiate mixed fraction from an improper fraction. Generally, a mixed fraction is a combination of whole number and a fraction. While an improper fraction generally has a top number larger than or equal to the bottom number. But expanding our topic, what is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is a type of fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. For example, 5 over 2, 8 over 5, and 7 over 4 are improper fractions. Every fraction has two parts, the numerator and denominator. Now, what is improper fraction and mixed fraction? An improper fraction is a fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to its denominator. For example, 9 fourths, 4 thirds, and 7 fourths are improper fractions. Numerically, an improper fraction always is equal to or greater than 1. On the other hand, a mixed fraction is a fraction that is written as a combination of a natural number and a proper fraction. It is a simplified form of an improper fraction. We have on our screens an example of converting mixed fraction to improper fraction. First example, 3 and 2 fifth. Converting it into an improper fraction, we must multiply the whole number into the denominator. So 3 times 5. Then we shall add the numerator of 2. So 3 times 5 plus 2 is equal to 17. Then we shall copy the denominator of 5. So our answer is 17 over 5. Same goes to our second example of 2 and 1 over 9. The whole number of 2 multiplied by the denominator of 9 plus the numerator of 1 is equal to 19. So our final answer is 19 over 9. Moving on, we have an example problem of converting improper fraction to a mixed fraction. First example, 11 over 4. Technically, we will just divide the fraction. So 11 divided by 4 will give us to an answer of 2 with a remainder of 3. So writing our mixed fraction, we shall copy the whole number of 2, then the remainder of 3 will automatically be our numerator, and our cop denominator is 4. We will just have to copy it. So our final answer is 2 and 3 fourths. Same goes to our second example, 10 over 3. So dividing 10 divided by 3 will give us an answer of 3 with a remainder of 1. So writing our mixed fraction is copy the whole number of 3, then the numerator which is the remainder of 1, and copy the denominator of 3. So our final answer is 3 and 1 thirds. So now, let's have a recap in adding mixed numbers. First step, see to it that the fractional parts are similar fractions. If not, rename and give its equivalent fractions with a common denominator. Second, add the numerators. Write the sum over the same denominator. Third, 
add the whole numbers. Fourth, write the result as the sum of whole numbers and fractions. And lastly, fifth, express the answer in lowest term if possible. Consider the sample problem of adding mixed numbers on our screen. 2 and 3 fourths plus 4 and 2 fifths equals. So, first, consider the fractions of 3 over 4 in our first term and 2 over 5 in our second term. Since these two are the similar fractions, making them similar, rename them and find them with a similar denominator. In our case, we have 15 over 20 for our first term and 8 over 20 for our second term. So writing our equation, 2 and 15 over 20 plus 4 and 8 over 20 is equal to. First, we must have to copy the first term's whole number of 2 and the second term's whole number of 4, we must add them, we will give us 6. Then, simplifying, add the two fractions of the first term and the second term. 15 over 20 plus 8 over 20. Simplifying it, it will give us 23 over 20. Let us remember that in the last step in adding mixed numbers, we must always express our answer in the lowest term if possible. So expanding our, our answer in its lowest term, just copy this, the whole number of 6, then we will simplify the 23 over 20. So 23 over 20, it will give us with a mixed number of 1 and 3 over 20. So simplifying our answer, it will give us with a final answer of 7 and 3 over 20. And to further assess your understanding in adding fractions, practice exercises are the following. Number 1, 2 fifths plus 1 over 6 is equal to Number 2, 5 over 6 plus 5 and 5 over 8 is equal to. Number 3, 2 and 3 fourths plus 1 and 1 third is equal to. Very good! Excellent! Here are the answers. So our previous problem, the answer to our first problem is 17 over 30. The answer to our second problem is 6 and 11 over 24. And the answer to our third problem is 4 and 1 twelfth. Thank you for watching. I hope you have learned a lot. Don't forget to subscribe James Urbeo for more educational videos. Till the next upload, bye-bye!